Ladies and gentlemen, our story begins in London in the year 632 AF, which means after Ford. So who is Ford, I hear you asking? Well, Henry Ford was the inventor of the production line back in the 1920s. And Ford is pretty much a godlike figure in Brave New World. And in this book, Huxley describes a dystopian world based on industrial efficiency and the mass consumption of goods. Citizens produce, consume, and live free of worry. Sounds okay. In this world, traditional reproduction has disappeared. People are bred and genetically modified to fit into five different castes so that everybody knows their place. The downsides? The state controls exactly what people like and don't like, and the state also provides the population with soma, a type of drug that keeps everybody happy and under control. Again, doesn't sound too bad. And in this world, lives Bernard Marx. Now, even though he's supposed to be a member of the elite group, the Alphas, he is short, plain, unhappy and frustrated. He's bitter about the way he looks and he doesn't feel satisfied with his life. He's looking for a change and a chance to get the attention of his crush, Lenina Crow. So he decides to take up a job visiting a savage reservation outside civilization where life is very different. There he will meet John the Savage, and suffice to say, all of their lives will definitely never be the same. Huxley wrote Brave New World at the time of the Great Depression, between 1929 and 1933, for those of you who don't know your history. At this time, rates of unemployment were going up, and he was worried about the growing sexual liberation and fast-paced life that he had witnessed in modern America. So, he turned to writing, to express his fears for what the future would be like. Thus was created Brave New World, one of the first dystopias ever written, which paved the way for so many other cult classics. So the real question, ladies and gentlemen, are you feeling brave? Well, if so, this book might just be for you.